Hi, my name's Derek, and I'm a professional travel writer. In this video, I'd like to share a loophole I discovered while working in the travel industry. A loophole that lets you book flights which normally cost over $1,000 for just $10 to $20. This works on 63 of the world's largest airlines, including United, Delta, American, and Southwest Airlines, and this works on both domestic flights and international flights. This works even if you don't have a passport yet, even if you don't have any money saved up, and even if you've wanted to take a vacation for a long time and just didn't know how to make it happen. It's already been used by tens of thousands of men and women to book flights for between 95 to 97% below what they normally pay. And while journalists from the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal have scratched the surface on these strategies, as far as I know, this is the first step-by-step -step video on how to do this. So imagine if you could fly anywhere in the world for just 10 to $20. Where would you dream of going? Would you climb the Eiffel Tower and take in the romantic view as the sun sets over Paris? Would you get a relaxing massage on the luxurious beaches in Bali? Or would you go on an adventure safari in Africa where you'll be greeted by curious monkeys, giraffes, and perhaps even wild elephants? The trip you've always dreamed of taking, whether it's on your own, with a loved one, or with the whole family, can finally be real while paying just a small fraction of what you'd normally pay. For example, here's a flight that Sandra recently booked. Hey, I'm Sandra, and I'm in Koh Phangan, Thailand. I flew Miami, LA, LA, Thailand. In cash, my flights would have probably been around $1,200 to $1,400, and I spent $12. <laughs> Here's another example, this one from a flight that I booked. This is a flight from Austin, Texas to Bangkok, Thailand. This trip is divided into two flights. The first one is from Austin to Los Angeles, and the second one goes from Los Angeles to Bangkok. The first flight would normally be $165, and the second flight would normally be $376. So I'd normally pay about $550 for this flight. Now I'm gonna log into my credit card statement and show you how I got this flight for free. As you can see here, this is the bill for the two flights that I booked. This is the one from Austin to LA, and this is the one from LA to Bangkok. And here, just a couple days later, is a travel credit for the entire amount, making this 9,000 mile flight completely free. Now, just to be clear, you will sometimes get 100% free flights with this loophole, though usually you'll be paying $10 to $20 in taxes. This works for domestic tickets that are as cheap as $50, as well as international tickets that are as expensive as $3,000. So how does it work? It works using a technique called award stacking. Award stacking is a unique strategy for booking flights which normally cost thousands for just the spare change you find in your wallet. It takes less than an hour a month to implement, doesn't add any additional expenses to your life, and can be used to get at least one nearly free flight every 60 days. It even has the side benefit of improving your credit score. For example, here's a photo of my credit score. I started with a credit score of 604 before award stacking, and now I average right around 750. I'll talk more about how this can improve your credit score while getting you free flights as well as give you the step-by-step -step instructions for how to do award stacking in just a minute. Before I do, I'd like to share the story of how I discovered this strategy. See, I used to struggle for months just to save up money to travel. I worked long hours at a job I wasn't crazy about. I'd hit the snooze button at least four times every morning before dragging myself out of bed, putting on my boring suit, and going to work anyway. Every day, I felt like I died a little bit more inside. And I did this so that eventually I could do what I really wanted to do, which was to go and see the world. Once I finally saved up enough money, I'd take my trip, which would last a couple weeks at most, then I'd return home and start the save money for months process all over again. This continued for years until one day, while on vacation, I happened to meet someone who writes for a travel website. Now, as someone who loves to travel, I was naturally curious about his job, so we spent some time talking. I was blown away by the stories of his adventures and all the places he's been. After a while, I asked him the question that was really on my mind. How can you afford all those flights? I mean, I thought to myself, writers don't make that much money. 
that's when he told me about award stacking, an underground strategy that lets him travel all over the world for next to nothing. And he'd been doing it for six years. I spent the rest of our conversation trying to get as much information as I could out of him while hastily taking notes on my iPhone. I went home determined to continue learning everything I could about award stacking. Unfortunately, it turned out there's very little information online. Sure, there were people talking about it, but everyone was very hesitant to share what they knew. There were password-protected websites, invitation-only chat rooms, rumors that were very hard to separate from facts. I kept digging for over a year and slowly, piece by piece, managed to put the whole award stacking puzzle together. And once I did, my life changed forever. Fast forward to today. I've now traveled 28 countries and the last few years have been the best years of my life. I've dived with thresher sharks in the Philippines, skied the powder slopes of Poland, and seen the famous sunset in Greece. I learned to speak Spanish in Colombia danced to my favorite DJs in Ibiza, and learned to make Tibetan dumplings from Tibetan refugees. I finally quit my day job to write about my travels, and, thanks to award stacking, I rarely ever spend more than the price of a Subway sandwich on my flights. The whole world feels like a choose-your-own-adventure book to me now. I can go anywhere I want, anytime I want, without even having to think about the money. That is what I want for you. The freedom to go wherever you want to go. Whether you want to take an extra vacation once or twice a year, or if you want to go on an adventure travel spree like I did, I want to remove all the barriers so you can experience the joys of seeing the world firsthand like I have. So how does award stacking work? How can you take flights normally costing thousands of dollars for just $10 to $20? Well, to explain award stacking, I first have to tell you a little bit about the behind the scenes workings of the airline industry and their backroom deals with the credit card industry. This will take about one minute and then the whole award stacking loophole will make complete sense. Ready? Here we go. There's been a heated multi-billion dollar battle going on for the last 65 years. It's a battle between the credit card companies. See, most people only carry one or two credit cards on them at any given time. They use it for groceries, for buying things online, for just about everything. And most people don't change credit cards very often. They tend to use the same card for three, four, five, even 10 years. That's why for a credit card company, getting you to put their credit card in your wallet instead of a competitor's is a big win for them. Whichever credit card company gets the most people to use their credit card will make billions of dollars. So how do credit card companies try to get you to use their card instead of someone else's? Well, they've tried all kinds of things. They've tried 0% APR, free balance transfers, free concierge service, so on and so forth. But the quote unquote bribe that we care most about in this video are the credit cards that give out free airline miles. Let me give you a few examples. Here's a Southwest Airlines card offering 50,000 miles. That's at least five free domestic flights. Here's a United Airlines card offering 50,000 miles. That's one or two free international flights. And here's a Delta Airlines card offering 40,000 miles. That's also worth one or two free international flights. Credit card companies love to dangle these free miles as carrots to win new customers. Once they have you as a customer, they're hoping you'll pay their annual fees and their interest rate payments for five, 10, 20 years after you join. Don't worry, you won't actually have to pay any fees at all if you do this the right way. So here's the loophole I told you about. These credit card companies are trying to bribe you into using their credit card. So what if you let them? What if you could get these bonuses of 30 to 50,000 miles over and over again and collect hundreds of thousands of free frequent flyer miles and use them to fly all over the world while paying basically nothing for your flights? And what if you could do this while improving your credit score? I've seen my score go up by over 100 points just by using these strategies, and hundreds of others have seen similar jumps in their credit scores by using these strategies as well. Using this simple method, you can stack these bonus award miles on top of each other to get all the free flights you'll ever need. That's why it's called award stacking. So let's get into the nitty gritty details of how you can do this in your life. All you need to do is follow this four-step process. 
Step one, find the right credit card offers. You want to find credit cards that give you the right kinds of miles while costing you nothing in fees. I'll show you where you can get all these cards in just a couple minutes. Step two, apply for and receive your new credit card. There's a specific process to this. You can't just apply online or at a bank and expect to get approved. A lot of people get rejected because they don't take all the steps they need to take in order to make sure they get approved. I'll talk more about how to make sure you get approved for the credit cards you're applying for soon as well. Step three, earn your miles. Typically, credit card companies will offer 30 to 50,000 miles as a sign-up bonus for new cards. That's worth $600 to $1,500 in free flights just by doing this one time. And you can do this once every 60 days and have it be good for your credit score. Now, in order to earn those miles, you typically need to meet a certain amount of money in spending. For example, you might need to spend $3,000 in three months before the airline will give you those 50,000 miles. Well, what if you don't normally spend $1,000 a month on your credit card? No problem. I'll show you a bunch of simple strategies you can use to hit those spending requirements and unlock your miles without actually spending any more money. Step four, pay off your credit cards so there's no interest payments. This is not about racking up credit card debt. This is about outsmarting the credit card system so you can get free miles and take free flights. You do not need to rack up any debt to make this work. That's the four-step process. Master it, and you'll have the freedom to travel wherever you want, whenever you want. Now, don't go signing up for a bunch of credit cards just yet. Signing up for credit cards without knowing which ones are the right cards, which kinds of points can take you to which parts of the world, how to get approved by the banks, or how to protect your credit score can actually be quite dangerous. If you do this wrong, you might end up hurting your credit score or hurting your finances. Just watch all the way until the end of this video, and I'll show you how you can learn everything you need to know to master award stacking. Before we get into that, let's take a look at how learning this has affected Kendra's life. Honestly, it made everywhere on the planet pretty much accessible to me. And I grew up not having that privilege. I didn't travel a lot when I was young. Um, I didn't have the means to travel. And even as an adult, I thought that that felt out of reach for me. So being able to um, really see anywhere that I wanted to go and see it as a possibility that wasn't now kept away from me because of the financial mean was really exciting. It gave me the ability to travel and see the world. And that's not something that I ever thought would be possible for me. Now, let me ask you, is this something you'd like to learn? A simple process for leveraging loopholes in the credit card system that allow you to book flights for free all while improving your credit score. A process that only takes one hour per month and can get you as many free vacations as you want. I hope so. It took me a long time to learn the ins and outs of this method, and now I'd like to share everything I've learned with you. That's why I put together the comprehensive guide to flying for free. This video course is designed to get you from knowing absolutely nothing about frequent flyer miles to earning hundreds of thousands of free miles and flying all over the world for just about zero money. Here's what you'll learn in this in-depth course. In part one, you'll learn all about how you can quickly improve your credit score so you can get approved for any card you want. I'll show you how I got from a 600 credit score to a score of over 750 using a few simple tricks that work for anyone. We'll talk about how the US government legally forced credit card companies through the Equal Opportunity Credit Act to open a gap in the credit reporting system that lets you rapidly boost your credit score by as much as 50 points. I'll also show you how to maintain the long-term health of your credit score as you start earning hundreds of thousands of frequent flyer miles through award stacking. In part two, I'll explain airline miles in a very straightforward and easy to understand way. One of the big reasons people don't use miles is because the airlines deliberately make them so confusing. In these videos, I'll simplify the whole deal with miles so even a kindergartner could easily understand it. You'll learn about which miles you should get to go where you want to go. For example, if you want to go to Africa, don't get United points. Get Delta instead. Getting the wrong kinds of points can leave you with a bunch of useless miles that you can't use to fly to the places you want. We'll talk about what the best kinds of miles for beginners are. I'm actually a little bit jealous that you can get these miles. These miles are beginners only, so they're off limits to more experienced award travelers. 
I'll also show you where to find hidden credit card offers. These are offers that credit card companies don't publish publicly. For example, American Airlines might give out 30,000 miles publicly, but secretly offer 50,000 miles to attract people who they think are big spenders. You'll learn how you can get access to those hidden 50,000 mile offers, even if they're not available to the public. Part three is all about getting approved for credit cards. By the end of these videos, you'll know exactly what you need to do to drastically improve your chances of getting approved for any credit card. You'll learn why so many applications made online, by mail, or in person get rejected. And you'll learn the number one most important step you need to take to increase your chances of approval. This is a step that 90% of people who apply for credit cards don't take. I'll also give you a list of direct phone numbers to the bank's decision makers. If there's any issues with your credit card applications, just call this number to talk to someone who can make those problems go away. Most banks don't publish these numbers on their websites, but you'll have direct access to all of them right here. In part four, I'll show you how you can meet the spending requirements on any credit card so you can easily access your airline miles. Remember, a spending requirement is the minimum amount of money you need to spend within 90 days in order to unlock your bonus miles. You'll learn about the hidden strategies experienced award travelers use to meet their spending requirements, even if it's above their normal monthly expenses, without adding any new expenses to their lives. I'll also share my three favorite ways for meeting spending requirements. Together, they'll allow you to meet all your spending requirements quickly, easily, and effortlessly. In part five, you'll learn how to eliminate all the fees. This includes annual fees, interest fees, ATM fees, and foreign transaction fees. This part is crucial. Most credit cards have an annual fee of about $100. If you're signing up for one credit card every two months, that's six new cards in a year. If you don't know how to get rid of those fees, that's $600 in fees just in the first year. In this section, you'll discover the one almost magical sentence you can say that'll get the banks to practically beg you to give them permission to eliminate annual fees from your account. And if for some reason this magic sentence doesn't work, you'll also learn two other proven strategies you can use to make those annual fees go away. You'll also learn how to get rid of interest payments. This is the most common fee people with credit cards pay, and you'll learn how to get rid of it for good. In parts six and seven, I'll show you the ins and outs of using miles to book flights. Airlines deliberately make booking flights with miles complicated so fewer people redeem their miles. I'll show you the A to Z of booking flights with miles, including how and where to find these flights, how to make sure you're getting the best price in terms of miles, and where to make the actual booking. You'll even learn how to find the flights that the airlines deliberately hide from their websites. We'll cover how to eliminate fuel surcharges, taxes, and any other fees from your flights, including the one airport you must avoid in order to not pay hundreds of dollars in taxes just to make a layover. Most importantly, you'll see five step-by-step -step flight booking examples so you can see exactly how booking with miles works by watching over my shoulders as I book these flights. That's the main seven part course. And as a thank you for watching this video all the way through, you'll also get access to three fantastic bonuses. Bonus number one is called how to prevent your miles from expiring. You'll learn exactly how and when airline miles expire so you can make sure that never happens to you. Bonus number two is a little known flight booking strategy called the stopover. Using stopovers, you can visit additional countries and continents for free. Have you ever been in a layover for a few hours in an airport so you could change airplanes? The airline doesn't charge you extra for that, right? Because it's all part of one flight. A stopover is like a layover, but instead of it lasting a few hours, it lasts for days, weeks, or even months. For example, if you're flying from the United States to Indonesia, you might normally have a three-hour layover in Germany. With the stopover strategy, you'll be able to turn your three-hour Germany stop into a three-day, three-week, or three-month vacation before continuing on to Indonesia. This all counts as just one flight and doesn't cost you any extra cash or miles. It's like having an extra vacation in a different country at no cost. Bonus number three is the free check bag and free priority boarding guide. You'll learn how to board before other passengers without having to pay extra. And you'll be able to check your bags without having to pay those annoying $25 per bag fees. That's just a brief overview of what's inside this program. There's actually quite a lot more there. By now, you're probably wondering, how much is this program? 
Well, that's kind of the best part. Learning the techniques in this course can easily save you thousands and thousands of dollars in flights over the next few years. If you take just 10 trips with these strategies and save $1,000 per flight, that's $10,000 in flights that you'll save. So even if this course was the same price as one international flight, $1,000, it would definitely be well worth it. However, my goal with creating this course is to make it easier for more people to travel. Traveling the world has had an incredible impact on my life. I'm happier, more confident, better at making friends, and have a lasting sense of personal freedom knowing that I can go anywhere in the world whenever I want to. I'm creating this course so I can give this experience to others like you as well. So to make this course accessible to more people, it isn't $1,000 like an international flight, or even $500 like a domestic flight, and not even $300 like a Greyhound bus ticket. This course is just $47 today, a one-time investment to learn all the skills we've talked about so far, a skill that you'll be able to use for the rest of your life to take free or highly discounted flights to anywhere in the world, a one-time investment that will more than pay for itself in the very first flight you take using these strategies. This program comes with a 365-day return it for any reason money-back guarantee. If you try the strategies in this program and they don't work for you, or if you decide for any other reason that you're not happy with the program, even if you decide that you just don't like the sound of my voice, I'll refund every penny. I want to make getting this course a total no-brainer for you. Either you learn a skill that'll unlock a whole world of free travel for you for the rest of your life, or you pay me nothing at all. All your payment details are protected using 256-bit encryption, the same kind of security that banks and the FBI use, so you know your information is 100% safe and secure. So click the button below now to place your order. You'll be taken to this simple and secure order form, then on the next page, you'll have instant access to the complete course. This is what it looks like inside. All the different parts of the course are on the left, and you can access the bonuses on the bottom right here. You can watch everything online, or you can download the videos to your computer or smartphone to watch offline. So click the button below now to place your order. In case you're still on the fence, let's take a look at how learning these strategies has affected Peter's life. So before I really started learning a lot about miles and whatnot, taking a flight I knew cost a lot of money, so I was more hesitant to even think about taking a trip. Uh, now I've been doing it for a couple years and I have a lot of miles and I have I have this sense of, of I can go anywhere for basically free, which is a very liberating, um, <laughs> very liberating sense to have in my life. Um, it's just really, really cool just to think at any moment and any time I could just book a flight for basically free and be anywhere in the world. You basically have three options right now. Option one, do nothing. In this case, your life will be exactly the same as it was before. Domestic flights will cost you three to $600. International flights will cost you one to $2,000. You'll continue having to work hard for months to save up money to go on vacations if you're able to go on vacations at all. Many of your dream vacations will remain exactly that, just dreams. Option two, you can take what you learned in this video and try to do it yourself. Most likely, you'll end up getting the wrong kinds of points and you won't be able to fly to the places you want to go. You'll likely end up paying hundreds of dollars in fees and you might even hurt your credit score in the process. Or option three, you can try the course today for just $47 and learn how to use award stacking to take nearly free trips all over the world. I hope you'll choose option three and give this program a try. So click the button below now to get started.